They've got a whole lot of love. I said, way down inside. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 Led Zeppelin songs. For this list, we've chosen our entries based on a combination of the artist's fan favorites and their most commercially successful songs. Number 10, Since I've Been Loving You. Featuring an incredible solo by Jimmy Page, this blues rock number off Led Zeppelin III also features John Paul Jones on the Hammond organ. I've been working from seven. Since it allowed room for on-the-spot creativity and experimentation, Since I've Been Loving You was often played in concert. The band used it not only to show off their musical talents, but also to express their appreciation for the blues. Oh my tears, they fell like rain, don't you see them falling? Number 9, Over the Hills and Far Away. Hey lady, you got the love I need. Mixing folk rock and hard rock, this track from Houses of the Holy had Page playing acoustic and electric guitar alongside Robert Plant's characteristic vocals. But what really makes Over the Hills and Far Away stand out is how well John Bonham's drums and John Paul Jones' bass work together. Though it only charted within the Billboard Hot 100's Top 60, the single allowed the members to play with its lyrics and musical parts during live performances. Number 8, Dazed and Confused. Been dazed and confused, so long it's not true. I want that a warm, a warm, a warm, a warm. Though singer-songwriter Jake Holmes actually wrote Dazed and Confused, Page first contributed guitar work to a recording of the track when the Yardbirds covered it in the mid-60s. Yes, he then brought it to his Led Zepp bandmates, who added heavy metal, blues, and hard rock flavors to the psychedelic rock original. With different lyrics, an altered melody, and Page's use of a bow to play his guitar, it quickly became one of their most performed pieces. Number seven, going to California. Spend the days with a woman and kind, smoke my stuff and drank all my wine. Lacking Bonham's drums and the characteristic hard rock and heavy metal sound Led Zeppelin was becoming known for, going to California sees the band going for a more folk rock vibe with great success. The sea was red and the sky was gray. I wondered how tomorrow could ever follow today. With Jones on mandolin, Page on acoustic guitar, and Plant singing his heart out, the song also showcases the band's softer side and incredible range. Number six, Ramble On. Leaves are falling all around. Time. I was on my way. It may have been co-written by Page and Plant, but Ramble On is also a fine example of Jones and Bonham's musical chemistry. With 
lyrics inspired by The Lord of the Rings, Ramble On is a four and a half minute number that fittingly mixes folk rock with hard rock. Just in the darkest depths of Mordor, I met a girl so fair. But it also proves that Page wasn't only a talented guitarist, but a talented producer as well. Number five, Cashmere. Despite being eight and a half minutes long, this physical graffiti track found radio airplay and much critical praise. Inspired by Eastern music, Led Zeppelin skillfully blended hard rock, art rock, progressive rock, and symphonic rock to create one of the songs they're most proud of. With its famous chord progression and musical contributions from session players, Kashmir wasn't only a live staple, but also a band favorite. Number four, Black Dog. Hey, mama, said the way you move will make you sweat, will make you groove. With its unforgettable jones penned riff and unmatched energy, Black Dog is one of the band's most well-known tracks. I'm a shine, burning red, dreams of you all through my hair. Alternating between a cappella vocals and musical sections, the Top 20 hit was the perfect fusion of Led Zeppelin's hard rock and blues rock style. Ah, 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 ah. It also quickly made its way into the band's concert set list. Number three, Stairway to Heaven. There's a lady who's sure all that glitters is gold, and she's buying the stairway to heaven. Clocking in at just over eight minutes long, this folk and hard rock number may be the band's most famous song. If there's a bustle in your head show, don't be alone now. It's just a spring clean for the main queen. Thanks to Paige's complex guitar work and Plant's unique singing style, Stairway isn't only one of Led Zeppelin's finest songs, but also one of the greatest songs in rock and roll. It wasn't even released as a single, but still, its haunting lyrics, memorable guitar solo, and multiple musical sections have left an immeasurable and all-encompassing influence on later artists. And she's buying a stairway to heaven. Number two, when the levee breaks. After Kansas Joe McCoy and Memphis Minnie wrote and recorded this blues tune in 1929, Led Zeppelin tried their hand at it in the early 1970s. The band's version of the track added hard rock to the mix through Bonham's deep drums, Page's guitar and Plant's vocals and harmonica playing. The result was an effects-heavy number that's as subtle as it is complex, but also oh so Zeppelin. Going down, going down, going down, going down. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Baby, 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 I'm gonna leave. Lonely, 
of love is filled with a whole lot of guitar goodness. It's Paige's blues-influenced power riffing during the intro that remains implanted in our brain. Taken from their sophomore effort, the track became their first American top five hit. Thanks to Plant's wailing, Paige's riffing, Bonham's drum solo, and Jones' timeless bass. This gold-certified track is undoubtedly one of the band's signature tunes and best songs. Do you agree with our list? What's your favorite Led Zeppelin song? With new videos published daily, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com for more entertaining top tens.